since 2016, I've kind of been on this upward trajectory. So I've done work in uh, galleries, um, in a few museums here around town and around the country, and even around the world. Yeah, the, the work has traveled more than I have. I moved to Jacksonville actually in 2012, and I didn't really get on the art scene until about 2014. I think the art community here has grown a lot. Like we have the established artist community here, but there's a lot of um, younger artists coming up and, and uh, making a lot of moves in the city. It's bringing a, a lot of visibility to Jacksonville as a, um, a budding art scene. It's crazy, at the time that I was creating this piece, um, my wife was pregnant and she ended up going to the hospital just for a routine appointment and they ended up keeping her. And so I was back and forth in the hospital and trying to create this piece and then we ended up having to have the baby uh, prematurely. And then at that time, uh, because of COVID-19, they had all these restrictions. And so I wasn't allowed to leave the hospital. Um, if I had left, I wouldn't be able to come back and see the baby being born. So after all that, um, I ended up getting the piece done and getting it here and then learning about uh, superhero Dana. So it all, it all just worked out, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, if you notice from social media, like I do a lot of images of, of black people. Historically, like in higher institutions of art and museums or galleries, you don't always see uh, those type of images reflected in the work. And so I'm just trying to, to do my part to um, reflect those images. So younger artists uh, coming up who, who look like me, they'll know that it's possible for them to achieve this, this goal too.